one. I've got a minimum speed one rather than one that stops and starts because this has got plain bearings and it's not ball bearings, it's like a bush. Um, so they need to be uh, turning at a reasonable speed all the time for the oil to um, lubricate them properly. Anyway, we've got the recovery machine going. Seven. Um, although we'll probably be have to get six and a half out of it because obviously seven is bringing it up from a vacuum up to north. So we're only going to take it down to north. And shut that valve up here and shut that off, and then we only have to back out the receiver. Right, we've got uh, 6.8, nearly 6.9 kilos out, so we're 600 grams is probably what it would take to bring the soul system up from a vacuum up to zero so we think we're uh, all to like seven kilos so that's only 250 grams we're not far from it are we so uh, I was thinking it was seven and a half kilos for some reason um, yeah so we're pretty sure this is leak tight then we've got to change this so we get that unscrewed and see how the new one fits. Might catch on that pipe, so we might have to put a fitting in there or something. Right, we've got a luckily had a T fitting on there. Um, that flexible conduit will move out of the way. Cable tight for that. It's just how it's not ideal, but um, working with what we've got. Um, so we've got a little copper gasket. These. these Speed controls come with a gasket, so we'll we'll put some um, nylog on there, and that will stick. A bit of use that and hold that in place while we screw the um, speed control on. Here's a tip: if you've got a pack of cable ties, um, best way to um, open them is just a little tear in the middle. If you cut the end off, they all fall out in the van and make a mess. But if you, if you do that, they all stay in the bag. But you can pull one out easily enough. Loosen the bolts and rotate the motor around a bit, and now um, you just about to see that conduit's not even touching the speed control. And now, so I'm happy with that. 